Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I'm going to be doing the I'm So Annoyed book tag. So I was tagged by Debs from Rainer Read Stuff. I think that's what her name is. Oh, maybe I should look. Yeah, I was right. Hey. Okay. And um, it says that this was weaponized by books I'm not reading from a video by a web of stories. And so uh, I am going to go down these and hopefully I have a good answer for all the prompts. Um, I think from the ones that I've watched, um, I think we all have about the same kind of annoyances when it comes to books and things. And so I'm pretty sure a lot of what I say has been said already. But it says, Number one, do publishers ever do things you find annoying and share an example? And so I didn't have any, like, offhand, and I didn't want to go rummaging through my books, but um, it's been on a lot of people's, and it's the sticker thing. I get so annoyed with the stickers, and... Um, I think if they need to tell you that it was on Netflix or it was an award winner, they could put it on the back cover. They don't have to smack it right there on the front cover and hide the beautiful cover art. That just really, really annoys me. Now, um, I do know that sometimes during the publishing they'll change the height. And that's very annoying, especially for people that collect things. Now, these are two uh, different runs of a book and I can see that but like say I was collecting just all these editions with this silver on the side I expect every one of them to be this size I, I wouldn't want it to you know be like this this is a completely different run from a different year so it looks different that's fine but if you're going to make a run of like putting this like silver thing down here then I think all the books should look like that <laughs> but for me who collects old books I can unless I can get all of the books like this you know I cannot be annoyed by this even though it does annoy me but I do know that sometimes a, a long-running series the publishers might change the way they do something and they make it trade paperback instead of mass, mass market or they um cozy mysteries for one i think they have started making the cozy mysteries a little bit bigger and and wider why they were just fine the way they were why why do that especially in the middle of a series so now you're collecting the series and you're going to have these ones that are like about this much taller and that like you know or what and it's just annoying <laughs> that annoys me um, I'm sure there are a lot of other things that annoy me, but those are the ones, like, right off the top in everything. The stickers annoy me. <laughs> top, top thing, stickers. Number two is, have you ever been annoyed by a spoiler? Even something as simple as someone else telling you there's a great twist. No. Now, if you're going to tell me, like, an actual plot, you know, line, and you're going to tell me what the twist was, then yeah, that might annoy me. But letting me know that uh, there is like this really cool twist in the book, um, it's just going to make me excited to find that twist. Now, I may be annoyed with you whenever I get there, and I don't think it's a very big twist. <laughs> but um, it doesn't bother me for somebody to tell me that there's a twist, especially if you're, I mean, I don't know how you can like really talk about like a thriller without saying it was it was slightly boring and then bam there was this twist and it turned everything around for me. I need to know those kind of things because sometimes when I'm reading a thriller I'm thinking this is so so boring I'm going to just quit right now. It may make me continue on if I think well they said there's going to be this like really big you know twist. So it may keep me reading it instead of spoiling things. I only get mad if I don't think the twist was very big, like I said. But that's that's on me because, you know, every reader is different. So, 
Uh, number three is, um, have you ever been annoyed by what discoveries in a free little library, a book sale, or a used bookstore? Tell us what you found and why it was so annoying. The only thing I think I've found, it's not really, and I, I would say it's not at, um, at a used bookstore, but like when I'm thrifting and stuff like that, I really hate it. Okay, let me get my book. I should have got one. I have one, but I didn't think about it. I hate it when they put the price right here, and then they tape it on, and so then you have to try to pull it off, and you have to try re really softly and everything, and try to get it off without messing up the cover, when they could just write, like, the price here, or put the sticker in here. That would not bother me, but when they put it here, when it's covering, especially when they put it like across like the face or something like that, it's so annoying. People who are selling books should not do that. <laughs> that annoys me whenever I find those when I'm thrifting. I still thrift them, but it annoys me and everything. Um, but, uh, as far as my used bookstore, I don't think I've ever found anything annoying there or at like an, a book sale, like at a library or something. And we don't have any free little libraries around here where I am, so I wouldn't know about that. Then number four is, when it comes to short story collections, are you annoyed if there's a novella in the middle of a collection? I don't read a lot of um, short story collections, so... I don't know if I would find that annoying, but I, I don't know. I guess if it's short story collection, I would be thinking that they should all be short stories and not a novella, and they should put the novella either at the beginning or the end. I think putting it in the middle is just kind of weird, um, but I don't think it would annoy me too much. I don't know. I, I, I would have to read a short story collection with a novella in the middle. Um, I read a book, like a novella, from a collection of Stephen King, but I didn't read the whole thing. I was just picking out that one, so, and it was the longer one in the book and everything, so I don't know if I would find it annoying if I had started at the beginning. <laughs> I just knew that was the book that I was picking out, the story that I was picking out, so that didn't bother me, so I don't know. Then... Uh, number five is deckled edges. A beautiful or annoying? Can they be both? I mean, I, I think they need to be both. Because I do think they're kind of pretty and, and everything. Because they've just got like that rough cut that just looks neat. It's kind of interesting. But when you're reading it and you go to flip a page and it gets caught... And it won't flip or it's just not quite. And you have to go up there and kind of tear it apart a little bit because something in the cutting just didn't work right. That's annoying. So pretty but annoying is my answer. Then the next one, number six, is other people's annotations in a used book or library book. Annoying or are you okay with it? In a library book, I don't think anybody should be annotating or underlining or any of that kind of thing because it's not your book. It's a library book. Now, if it's a library book edition that I found while I'm, like, shopping at a used bookstore or a thrift store, that's different because somebody might have had that book and they <laughs> used it that way. But if I'm going to the actual library to check out something, there should be no annotations or nothing in it. No lines, no nothing. If you had to use it for... Uh, studying or whatever it is, uh, you know, write it down, don't underline. That's kind of annoying, but I just think it's also, it's not your property. You shouldn't do that. But if um, I find a book that has been annotated, I think it would depend on how much and um, if their annotations are going to like spoil something if I was to read one. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't annotate myself, so I've never read a book that's been annotated, so I wouldn't know if it would bother me or not. <laughs> so I'm going to say it's not super annoying, only if you're doing it to a library book that is not yours. 
Number seven, if there's a series or a collection of, of certain kind of books, like an imprint, and changes are made, are you annoyed or okay with it? Yes, I'm annoyed. It's kind of like the same concept that I was talking about, like if they was to make changes like that, where they're, you know, bigger. And here's kind of an annoyance that I have, and it's the cover changes. Sometimes when they've gotten... Book 5 just come out, and they totally rearranged and changed the cover. So now they don't match your other books that you have. My example for this would be... I'm I'm a little picky, because Discovery which is, is my favorite. And try to get it to where it glares. I think these, they all kind of go together. See, they've got like these like spirals and this is the third one and it even it has the spirals you know the, the second one is still I think they all pretty much go together and then I'll put a picture here of the new one that's going to be coming out the Blackbird Oracle okay the US edition does not match these at all um, the color is pretty and I'm not saying that the cover is not pretty I just don't feel that it it's the same aesthetics as the other ones. But it's been like five years because the author had cancer and so it had taken her a while to write another book. Understandable. But I just hate that the cover is different. But if you look at the UK edition, the UK edition, and I will put it here, almost fits the covers for the US edition. A little bright, but almost. I would I would say that it would go with these better. And what's funny is the UK edition doesn't fit the covers for the UK versions of the other <laughs> books. So it's like they're backwards. Um so yeah. So that kind of annoys me a little bit that they're not going to be a perfectly matched set whenever I get my hands on the newest book. But, I mean, it. I can understand it because it's been a long while, but at the same time, it's going to be a little annoying for me that they're not going to match perfectly. It is my favorite series, and I would like them to match perfectly. And I do want to get my hands on the UK version eventually, like all of them, and so it's going to be really weird because... The UK versions are like red and black, I think. Um, I will have to check. I think most of them are red and black or, or white and red. Let me see. Yeah, like the Discovery of Witches one is, is like red. Well, there's like a couple editions. I guess it depends on the ebook and the, the paperback, but we'll go with the paperback because that's what I have. Um, it's it's red and black. The discovery of witches is is red and black, and it doesn't go with the bright blue <laughs> at all for the the latest one. Long story short, cover changes annoy me. <laughs> Number nine is: Are you ever annoyed by how someone organizes their books, and why do you feel annoyed? Um. You know, each to their own on how they want to categorize things. If they can find their books, I guess that's fine. Um, for me, I don't really care for the color coordinated ones because then my series are not going to be in the same section. I mean, just take these. If if I was going to put these in different, you know, colors, this one's green and this one is blue by the spines. So then this, the last book in the series, wouldn't be anywhere near these. That would be annoying to me. I, I, I need my series to be together. <laughs> and so that's how I would have mine on there, a series together. Um, I do like to have mine by genre. And then uh, the author's collections together. Um, do I have to go as far as them being alphabetical? Probably not, but I might. Um, mine are kind of a mess right now, so don't even look because I've been 
rearranging and changing. But um, I think once I get things the way I want, it would be like this shelf is mystery and this shelf is thriller and this shelf is horror and this one is romance or whatever. And then maybe uh, alphab alphabetized by the author and then all of their books if they have if it's a series the series has to be together <laughs> and that's just me so uh, some people might find that annoying and everything so you know do what you want i think the rainbows look pretty they're just not my kind of thing i need my series to be together and then share something bookish that you find annoying well i mean i think all of the stuff that I just said, I've, I've mentioned all my annoying things, or at least what I can think of off the top of my head. I'm, I'm sure there's something else that I find annoying. I think I've agreed with people on their channels that, oh yeah, that's annoying, oh yeah, that's annoying. Um, but off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else. I think the cover thing and the sticker thing are probably my two biggest annoyances that I have and everything so yeah and then the next question is to tag other people and so I'm trying to think of somebody that hasn't already done this this one was a very popular tag that just went around to a lot of people so I'm going to try to think of some people that I don't think has has done it and maybe they would do it I don't know but I'm going to tag um, my friend Lee from Dark Roots Creation. I don't know if she's done it. Um, Tiffany from the Beach Bum Bookworm. Um, uh, Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye Loves Books if she wants to do it. I don't know if she ever does tags. And I will go with um, Sonia from Sonia with an Eye. And that's all my tags and if you see this video and you think it sounds like a good tag and you would like to do it and you weren't tagged feel free to do it tag <laughs> I just trying to think of uh, people off the top of my head is very hard so anyway feel free to leave your annoyances down in the comments I would love to see yours and everything I'm sure that we probably have a lot of the same ones but I know sometimes there's that one that I just can't think of that might annoy me at the time, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. So leave those down in the comments, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!